Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful starry night sky in acrylic and watercolor. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. So let's get started. I'm starting off with a light blue wash and making it darker around the edges with a darker blue color. As always, everything will be listed in the description box below and you can check it out there and see what you need for this. And you're just going to continue going around the edges, making it darker, and bringing more of that color in. Now, this is going to be a circle shape, but it's not going to be a complete circle, and you're going to want to drag the colors in. Now, starting in with a navy blue color, I'm going to put that in the outer edges. This is going to be covered up with black, so it definitely doesn't need to go out as far as I did it, but I just decided to do it that way. continue in with that color and just make it darker and drag it in. Now starting in with the black acrylic, start from the outer corners and drag it in. Just pull that toward the center. and bring it up from the bottom as well. It doesn't need to be perfectly black because we're going to go over it later and fix it up. Now take a wet sponge or paper towel and dip it in the paint and just drag that black forward and then you're also going to mix acrylic and cobalt blue watercolor paints together and just go around the edge of that black section and drag it out. This is just a good transition between the blue and the black so it doesn't look like a, like a day sky and a night sky combining. Now go around and fix up the black by adding more on top. and just continue fixing up the black and making it darker and more intense. Then you're going to take your white acrylic paint and water and you're going to mix it together. You want it to be a nice consistency, not too thick and not too thin. Then you're just going to lay paper towels down in the shape that you want the edges of your starry night to be. And then you're just going to keep splattering and the closer you are to the paper, the more condensed the clusters of stars will be and the farther you are away, the farther apart they are going to be. Then you're just going to take that off and then you're going to start in with your pine trees. Now going in with your black acrylic paint again, take a horizontal brush and just draw vertical lines and then draw horizontal lines across that. This is a simple pine tree, and the more complex pine tree is on the right here. And you're just going to take your brush and you're going to start at the top, and you're going to draw vertical lines, and you're going to swoop them out from the main line. Now just continue with your pine trees all around the page. Don't put too many, or else it'll look too crowded, and just a simple few is better. But I'll leave it up to you how you want to do it. Don't worry if they're a little sloppy because we're going to go in later with a pen and sharpen them up.
Now we're going to go in with a very small nibbed pen and we're going to just bring the tips of the trees up, sharpening them and then also the boughs a little bit all over. And that's it, we're done. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you have, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Thanks, bye.